Hello my fellow eggheads, this is Liz. I'm an HP certified technician. Today we're going to be discussing DPC watchdog violation error. If you find this video in any way helpful, please like and share. So the first thing I would do to troubleshoot this problem is hit power. And we're going to start tapping on F9 to check your hardware because HP's have built in diagnostic software. Not everyone knows that. So I would tap on F9 repeatedly after hitting the start button to access this diagnostic software because we're going to check in your hardware to make sure it's functioning properly. Okay, so I'm at my boot menu. With this HP, I have to hit escape to access it. Uh, so I'm just bring you right to it. And when you're at the boot menu, you're going to arrow down and you're going to select di system diagnostic. With some HPs, you can just tap on F2 from startup instead of F9, but it varies from model to model. And then I'm gonna select hit enter to go to system diagnostics. And then once I'm there, I'm going to check my memory. First thing I'm gonna do, is do the memory check. I'm going to select it and then I'm going to hit enter. And it will start testing my memory because this particular error can be a hardware or a software issue. So we're not going to show you one solution because that's not what we do at Egghead Fixers. We're going to show you all the, the troubleshooting method. So as you can see, my memory quick check passed. So it's not my RAM, it's not my memory. So we're going to go back to the main menu and now we're going to test my other main component, the hard drive, and do a quick check. Okay, so you can see both pass the hard drive and the RAM. If they hadn't, I would have needed to repair those. If yours doesn't, we have a video down below on how to replace your hard drive. All right, next thing we're gonna do is we're going to, if this doesn't work, if the last thing didn't work, you would hit power and start tapping on F11. Because we're gonna now work through the software problem, we're going to tap on F11 to get to your recovery manager, another feature of your HP you probably didn't know about and we're going to try to factory reset your computer. So we're going to, once you get to this screen, we're going to arrow down to troubleshoot, reset this PC. Now there's two options for a soft reset or a hard reset. The soft reset tends not to work for this problem. So you're gonna to need to do the remove everything, which I know it's sad, you lose all your information, but uh, we're trying to save a computer here. So sometimes the tough solutions are the ones that work. So if you can't access this, or you find the reset doesn't work, could be, um, oh, sorry, I'm going to pause for a second. You can hit fully clean the drive. That's the one you want. And you'll lose all your information, but it usually works. And uh, like I said, if you can't g get the factory reset to work, or if you cannot uh, access it, it could be that your uh, operating system is too corrupt and you need a fresh install. I have a video down below on that. It, skip the hard drive installation portion and just look for the fresh install. So that would be your step after the factory reset if it doesn't work or can't be accessed. But we're gonna select the fully clean the drive option and select enter. And hopefully uh, through this troubleshooting method, you'll be able to repair uh, your computer and get out of that loop. If you have any questions, leave them down Thanks below. Thanks for watching our video. If you found it in any way helpful, please like and share. If you like do-it-yourself computer repair videos, then go ahead and subscribe. If you have any questions or some great ideas for some videos, leave them down below and one of our certified technicians will respond as quickly as possible. Anyway, from one egghead to another egghead, this is Liz signing out.